The Children and Teens Ministries committed to teaching its members the way of the Lord, which inspires them unto success. If you pass through this ministry and you fail, you are on your own. The focus is on three persons who made the Children and Teens Ministry and the chapel as a whole proud. They graduated with first class honors. In no particular order, let's look at Suboba Nimi Aginopu. Some years back, she was graduated from the Teens Church into the Adult Church. Now, we'll go straight to the graduation ceremony. And as people want to graduate, so I will call our daddy while I call the names. We have seven names here. They will come out, they will be prayed for, and I believe Chaplin will hand them over to the youth president. We have Tuboba Nimi Aginobo. She studied guidance and counseling at Ignatius Art University of Education and came out victorious with a first class degree. Congratulations to you, Nimi Aginobo. Next was a dancer with the dancers, Radiance Ovoma Onu is her name. She preached the 2007 Children's Day sermon. Like, for example, a mother could go to the market and see two different clothes. They are very beautiful. But instead of you buying the both of them for your child and your maid, you will buy the finest amount for, for your child and go to Africa or wherever the kid might go to go and buy the Radiant studied at the River State University in the Faculty of Law. She was highly motivated by the things she learned at the Children's Church. By the time I got to university, I realized that those things I learned back then helped me define myself. It helped me find my identity. And then I am growing up to they always especially in chapel <laughs> transfiguration. So there was always this belief that you can do anything. I remember then in um, Don Seal, even when you struggle, in fact, there was a particular time we were trying to dance and then I knew I wasn't getting this thing, but Kepri was like, I already has to go to the front. So there, there was already this indoctrination that you can do all things. There is no limitation. Once you believe it, you can do it. So then it didn't seem, but by the time, you know, I got to the university, the fruits started, um, it started bearing fruits. Yes. So I, I remember then in chapel, there were some stories, you know, um, teachers shared with us. And that day I realized that where you, where you fail or where you become defeated is when you drop down and you, re, you choose to remain there. Mm. Till tomorrow, there will still be those guiding principles that I can always fall back on. She graduated with a first class grade. Congrats, Regents. And then, Divine Favor Amele, a dancer that could memorize the Bible, and also one time that I still remember. Praise the Lord. My name is Divine Favor. I'm here to present the Bible presentation as this is the My Bible presentation is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 1 to 17. And the last spoke this word to them, saying, I am the Lord that God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the land of bondage. They shall have no other God except me. That shall not make for themselves any graven image, or likeness of any kind that is in heaven, above, or earth in earth. That shall not bow down to them or stop them. For the Lord our God, I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the Father upon the children, to the third and fourth generation of those who hate. She studied English and Communication Arts at the Ignatius Adrian University of Education and came out victorious with a first class grade. We are proud of you, divine favor. Indeed, if you have been admitted into the university, having grown from here, you have the opportunity to make us proud. You are watching at me. The people that got first class look where they do not have two heads. And for the top, sincere love from the children and teens ministry, the one family crew.
Chapel of the Transfiguration. This is Blessing Ifani, reporting for the One Family Media Team.